Now, countless times on this channel, I've showcased what I consider one of the best battle shonens, the best cooking animes, and a host of a dozen of the anime world's strongest beings. The anime slash manga I'm referring to is Toriko. Toriko is basically a combination of Dragon Ball Z and One Piece and replaced the most sought after ingredients like devil fruit or the Dragon Balls with shit like walking roasted pigs, seas of liquor, chips, trees, and even more Willy Wonka-esque creations. You have people like Toriko and others like whom are called gourmet hunters, individuals who scoured the earth for ingredients to complete their full course meal, a divine eight course menu of their life's greatest dining and discovery. Now, starting off, we're going to be reviewing Toriko's lifespan. The Toriko manga is literally a work of godliness. From smoking, cursing, lewdness, dismemberment, love, camaraderie, drunkenness, grief, tragedy, discovery, <gasps> mysticism, spirituality, and even dealing with the greater meanings of life itself, Toriko has everything. Spanning an epic 43 volumes and 396 chapters, the Toriko manga is a perfect example, in my opinion, on how to properly make character development plot in the entire universe flow almost seamlessly. In Toriko, we see such detailed scaling and explanations in the battles, techniques, and their applications that I compare it to animes like Hunter x Hunter or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for their sheer level of detail. The sheer amount of ways said detail in all of their characters made very few people feel like introduced fodder level background NPCs. This is a must read, I think, for anyone that loves cooking anime or battle shonen, but an especially good read for anyone looking for a well-built universe that's serious shit goofy at some times, kind of like One Piece or Dragon Ball Z. Now, the anime on the other hand ran for 147 episodes, and if you've seen my very first Toriko video, link in the description, I spoke on how absolute dog crap it is. From introducing plots that did not exist in the manga to being heavily censoring in iconic scenes like Toriko smoking, Zibra being bloody after clapping prisoner cheeks, and one of my most hated, the battle between Ichiryu and Midoriya, because how you gonna hold my man Ichiru like that and barely let him be in the spotlight the entire show and then when they finally animate it, censor it and animate it poorly. It ended before the manga did, stopping at the cooking festival arc after trying to somehow resolve the planet killer that was Joey in a few episodes. I hate it, but have watched every single episode of it. It's terrible, but give it a watch because it feels awesome to see our boys animated and brought to life even if we get some annoying side characters. So the real question of today, what really happened to Toriko? When it first debuted, many will remember Toriko was pushed as one of the big three. Given the fact that Bleach was on its way out, Toriko was going to replace it and become the next with One Piece and Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if Naruto was included at the time. They even had crossovers with One Piece and Dragon Ball Z to the point to where the characters even knew each other in other crossovers. But in this same way, it was forced in the Japanese market, which created a huge market, but eventually that market died down and the popularity of the series tanked. Around 2009 to 2010, Toriko went from nearly $150,000 in sales to $350,000. Still in the early 2000s, Toriko was popular. In its few years of runtime, it had two movies, a 3D animation, and even a feature film in 2013. Plus the crossovers I mentioned with Luffy and Goku, and even a host of video games from consoles to handhelds. Though, still even after being pushed in the J-Stars 2015 game, Toriko was losing money. While in America we loved Toriko, our counterparts in Japan were growing tired of it being constantly pushed. English readers rarely ever bought physical copies of the manga as it goes with most manga series, and Japan did not like Toriko as much as Westerners did. So it does not help after the series ended that the mangaka faced backlash after allegedly paying an underage prostitute 80,000 yen for the quote unquote dirty. This however happened like I said after Toriko's release, so it isn't directly correlated to what I believe is the downfall of Toriko's popularity, but definitely contributed in the factor. And I will say that the legality of prostitution is quite weird in Japan, as are many other things like the entire lowly genre. And the main reason I believe that Shimakuro received backlash was the fact that the girl was underage, not that he got a prostitute. Though he was still sentenced to two years, he was shortly thereafter pardoned and tried to bring life back into some of his other projects where they were ultimately canceled because of his reputation. As I mentioned earlier, the 2015 Shonen Jump game, J-Stars, was the last chance for the dying manga to gain popularity, and there's tons of people who found Toriko and the other Heavenly Kings and came to the fandom, but sadly, since J-Stars did not sell well, because let's be honest, that game was mid-trash, it was like every other arena anime fighting game, like copy-paste Naruto, copy-paste Demon Slayer, copy-paste the My Hero game, they're all the exact same games. Toriko did not, either way, sell well. 
After 2016, Tariko basically failed to gain enough relevance to continue to exist. So, summing up the video guys, basically what happened was, Tariko just became unpopular. It fell so low on the ratings and popularity boards before the anime was eventually started to be rushed. I butchered that. But either way, they rushed it too far in the end because of their dying down of popularity and trying to intersect it with other niches like One Piece and Dragon Ball Z. So, what does this mean now? All we can do now is stuff like this. Channels like mine and others on YouTube that showcase and talk about the brilliant world of Tariko. We don't know what might one day happen, we may even get a reboot, but for now, smash that like button and continue to support the channel because I'm going to keep covering Tariko content as long as possible because I love this series. Peace out and stay sane everybody.